What is going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today's gonna to be the last day of working on the Honda. I think we should have it completely roadworthy, back together, 100% ready to go today. All we have to do today is the oil change and then get all the fairings back on. That uh, Getting the fairings back on in itself is gonna be a long process, but we'll get that done and it'll be ready to roll. I did get the new SD cards for my new vlog camera and then my PC blew up this morning. So just one thing after another. So I'm gonna be on the here wait for a little bit longer because I won't be able to edit. Should have the PC back together within a week or so and then I'll be back onto that newer, nicer camera. But let's go ahead and get into today's video. I'd appreciate if you guys could drop a like and subscribe. Helps me out a ton, doesn't cost you guys anything. Tire pressures are way off. I still need to check those today. All right, let's do the call center stand. Things heavy. First thing first, we just gotta pop off this fairing. This covers the oil filter. There we go. In typical gold wing fashion, you can't get a drain pan underneath it. Fall from the center now. There we go. So we're gonna have to put it on the kickstand. definitely dark. If you guys remember from the BMW oil change, I actually opened up the container this time, so the oil should stay in there. Oh. <laughs> Oil looks really good. No discoloration, no fogginess, anything like that. That's a good sign. You can tell a lot of an engine based on how the oil looks. Seems to be pretty clean. I'm getting some oil out. I need to stand it up right real quick. Yeah, geez, there's like a ton more oil coming out. A good rule of thumb when you're doing drain plugs, because you have a crush washer on there. So you basically just tighten it until it stops. And then just one little oomph at the end of that. And that's usually perfect. All right, sweet. Got a new crush washer. Basically, I mean, a good way to think about it is you have that soft metal as your washer, so you just want to just barely squish that metal. But you definitely can crack cases and that, all that type of stuff really easily, so you got to be careful with it. Don't want to overdo it, and it definitely isn't much. I also think on the gold wings, I'll need to check the um, the axle. I've never had an axle-driven bike. So I need to check that oil too and make sure that's all good to go. Cool, good to go. Alrighty, next step is the oil filter. I don't know why I just don't get my ratchet. Make this go a lot faster. There we go. Definitely happy with it so far. Nothing looks too beat up or anything. So that's always good. Anytime you have stuff coming apart, like make sure that spring isn't directional or anything like that. Alrighty, then my filter kit came with new O-rings as well, so I'm gonna, you always should replace these on every oil change. There we go. They don't feel flat or anything though, so that's a good sign. That means that they were done with the last oil change, so it means it was probably a good oil change. And then you wanna take some residual oil from your fingers and rub that on that new O-ring before you put it in and then drop her in. Helps everything seal up well. And it's always a good idea just to pour a little bit of oil on your new filter. Not a ton, just a little. This helps get your new filter wet. That way when you start the bike, you won't have a dry start for like the 10, five to 10 seconds while it's wetting your oil filter. I'll hit all this with some brake cleaner to get it nice and cleaned up. But Cool. That's a pretty easy oil change, but I guess you have to take off that fairing. That's the only thing that kind of sucks, but it's definitely not bad compared to some of the other bikes I've done. I've been debating how I wanted to film the um, putting on the fairings because it's going to be quite the process. And what I decided I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to time lapse it. That way you guys will just can sit back and watch and it'll be over in a few minutes and it'll be a few hours for me. I don't want to show every step, so I figured that'd be a cool way to just kind of watch it all flow back together. All right, and I still got to fill it up with oil, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that on the center stand. Heavy. 
be. It should take all of this, so I'm just gonna pour like three fourths of it and I'll check the dipstick. It's always easier to add more oil than it is to take oil out, so. Alrighty, everything should be tight. Now we'll go ahead and prime it up. See, so this is no choke, cold start. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Needs a little bit of choke. There you go. So the oil light turned off. That means it's got pressure. Let it idle for a minute. Let everywhere get oil. Okay, sweet. That should be good enough. Now I just got to check it again in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and move the bike onto that side of the garage because this side of the garage is just a mess and it'll look better for the time lapse to put it back together. So. Alexa, Shuffle Songs by Juice World. Take. Yeah, we just kids with a dream to get out. No, we gonna make it one day. I ain't got a doubt. I'ma do it for myself. I'ma do it for the crew. We don't care about you. We can see right through. Yeah, we just kids with a dream to get out. No, we gonna make it.